Hello YouTube, welcome into the start of another Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic. We're playing our one more marathon marathon with Australia this time. Uh I will I will forewarn you that I am slightly frustrated. We've we've spent a lot of time trying to re-roll and get a decent uh decent Australia game going, and we've been really, really boxed in by neighbors uh on the whole. So you'll see that I've already moved my both my settler and my warrior. We spawned here. And I was debating the move here or here. And now that I see what I see, I'm pretty happy with the 2-2 settle here. This is actually a plus 8 campus, as it is uh, highly, highly appealing. Uh, and we've got good appeal all around in general here. So maybe some seaside resorts. I was thinking we were going to play Australia as a uh, Diplo Civ, uh, which is why I'm thinking Holy Sites already. This is also plus 6, by the way. Um, probably an Artemis play as well, potentially, with the deer like this. A uh, little bit worried about overall land to begin with. And we were debating this for the, for the not only the extra uh, housing potential of settling coastal, but the harbor there as well. But we're going to go like this and see what we can see. We have four era score already. We must be the first one to find North America or set foot on our current continent, which would be, which would bode extremely well for not having neighbors. But let's turn to settle this. We keep the spices in the third ring. We've got this. We've got two two tiles. I've got uh, some culture bombs that are interesting as well. Uh, and I think the warrior goes where? This is a new continent up here. Scout is going to have to check this out. Again, I see a river, but I'm not totally convinced there's a lot of land over there. I guess the warrior wants to kind of go up the coast. No, let's put the warrior inland. We do have a volcano over there. Uh, I think the game wants to work the one threes. I don't want that. I think I just want the scout and two twos. And let's go for astrology. Pottery we'll need in order to get this first. We could go um, animal husbandry and maybe have some horses here would be really nice because we could culture bomb in the uh, spices. I think I like that a little bit better. And it puts us in position for Temple of Artemis potentially. This holy site is plus six. The mod we use is not seeing the uh, plus three appeal bonus for us, which is admittedly awkward. So lots of coast settles, looks like, uh, but sugar and spice and everything else nice. My man. Gonna go ahead and grab this. It's 40 gold. Kinda weird. And I think I wanna go north, being that this is a new continent. We kinda wanna see if we can settle it. Uh, casual Lurker, thank you for the follow, welcome. Wales 2. This is a Monopoly game. One of the things I've been hoping to find in our Australia spawn is a uh, is is some interesting Monopoly stuff. So it looks like we've got some decent stuff going on. Not a lot of rivers and therefore probably not getting the sweet, sweet commercial hub bonus unless we decide to go um, owls, which could be a thing, which which could certainly be a thing. So how interested am I in this? Five appeal. One, two, three. What's here that's five? This is a woods, okay. Coast, woods, woods. My man. I'm actually going to go here next turn. I, I need to see what this is. Do reef tiles give appeal? I don't think so.
So this is a new continent, but it looks like we're blocked from it, which is kind of problematic. What says have I taken Hermetic with with the playthrough? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Lipo, thank you for the follow. Let's go ahead and grab another scout. Lots of plantations. This does look like it continues a little bit. I'm not sure that I want it to. <laughs> Weird map scripting, my goodness. Huh. What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? I can't national park here. I can't do anything with that. Be cool. It'd be super cool IRL. This would be gorgeous, actually, IRL. Be awesome. Well, polder. Do do mountains work for polders? I thought they didn't. Okay, well, it's, it's certainly interesting. Uh, it wants to work this. That's fine. Thought it was any land, not just flat land? Okay. I, did, I thought mountains were excluded, but I, I, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've played uh, Wilhelmina. Golden Gate Bridge potential? Yeah, no doubt about that. Kind of rewarded for my bravery. We could have absolutely gotten blocked here. But incredibly high appeal tiles uh, and some possible more stuff over here, I hope. All right, Animal Husbandry shows us horses here. I am fond of pigs. Very nice. So now I can culture bomb in the spices. And we have a first meet on Zanzibar. Okay, all right, game. And another river. All right, what's the appeal on this tile? Breathtaking, so one, two, three, four, five. So it's totally surrounded by C, in my opinion. Okay, so there's a city over here. I'm not seeing a Coliseum play. That's okay, we've leaned on that heavily in recent games. And I'm happy to see Zanzibar. Cloves would be nice. Yeah, I did want something some more isolated. <laughs> just when I'm out, they sieve. Pull me back in. That's just it. That is just it, Mark. I kind of want the builder. But I'm supposed to go settler. Pottery and irrigation. Um, this is my irrigation boost. So this is plus seven. I can see this. Why not go builder? I, I'm pretty sure the settler is still better. And we'll we'll get to a builder. Um, what do you want? Great merchant. That seems fitting. So I would like some kind of coastal sieve to explore, or, yeah, city to explore all this. So maybe our, is our first expand here? This might be better just in terms of overall city. But this has the potential of putting a commercial hub here. There is a river here, but it's eh, kind of weird. It's kind of weird. All right, I think I'm going to go towards astrology. Actually, I need the granary first. I need this in order to get rid of this, so I guess it's pottery. And then maybe we find a nice Petra. I like Australia Petra. Could be a thing. Could be a thing. Let's uh, let's go this way. I 
Petra Mausoleum play could be a thing. <laughs> it's still pretty landlocked. There's not exactly a ton of room here. Hopefully it gets a little better. The fact that this is a first meet is very encouraging. Uh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Governor? Do I just plop in a governor here? It'll be free amenities when we get our bonus resources online. I could also see just throwing uh, Amani in Zanzibar. This feels a heck of a lot better than our previous looks, though. I think I'm going down this way again. Hi, Orange Tornado. It's a plus eight campus. I know it doesn't say it, but it is. Send trade route? That's pretty doable. It's pretty doable. I don't know what to do with our first governor, though. Buenos was a first meet, yeah. So I'm very encouraged now. Yeah, I'm thinking about Temple of Artemis, to be sure. It's one, two, three, four, five, six amenity Temple of Artemis. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So if I give them envoys, they take the deer. Not sure if I'm down with that. All right, that time I got punished. <laughs> I was really hoping it would continue on here. So an interesting sort of snaky uh, landmass for us. It works with Australia. Down Florida, yeah, we sure did. Oh no, it's Florida. Oh no. Oh no. GT, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, my friend. Welcome on back. Great to have you here. Absolutely great to have you here. So this is a whale of a city. We are on monopolies, so triple whales, assuming I don't give them envoys for a while. And there's a barb camp here. Um, I do have multiple scouts, so scout XP is probably just better. Even though I kind of want to smack this. And I will probably smack this. And take the XP from it. All right, foreign trade, they want a trade route. Again, I don't really want to give them this deer, but might be okay. And I think I'm moving here next turn. I would like to scout around them as well. But I want to scout out our Petra and see what's up over there. Because again, this is a new continent. There might be people up here and we're just, we're just luckily blocked by this interesting mountain range. Okay, and then we have a barb camp here that we need to attend to. I could go with a slinger, uh, and I could buy it now. Uh, and then try to bait the kill so that I can unlock Artemis. Yeah, this is night and day from our previous spawn. I'm going to go here to block spawns, I should say. You, you like the builder buy?
I think I like the builder by two. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, have a chub. It's a little frustrating getting to this point, but we finally got there, and it's a really interesting map. And uh, honestly, interesting pairs well with with Australia, um, just because it's 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 such a funky uh, districting sort of sieve, very atypical. Now again, I don't have a ton of room, but there is still a lot of potential. So I'm I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Now I can't go settle this right away, so I might be locked into one of these settles initially. This city gets all of this. We'll certainly put a city down here somewhere on the river. And I kind of liking this idea as well. These coastal cities will be initially significantly better and not as dependent on a granary um, as your typical coastal cities, right? But I might have to lean into harbors to fully take advantage of this one. I'm hoping the world keeps going this way, otherwise it's it's really quite awkward. Especially with this blocking. Like if I can get a, a, a forward leading si uh, city, then we can kind of expand from there. Especially with something like Monumentality. XP there is pretty nice. Irrigation will let me improve the spices, and that's about it. I mean, eventually all this stuff, too. What are the leaders we deselect from games? Uh, it's like Coupe, uh, Mapuche, Gaul, Babylon, and Russia. I think I'm going to hedge towards this uh, holy site that I want to get, though. Cross probably. Oh no, your camp is dead. Oh, and that's from this. Remember when I was like, we should get a slinger? Pearls? Wow, Pearl Harbor down here. So a couple nice monopolies. I don't mind pearls with uh, our faith potential. Nice Petra tiles to uh, snag. I need to s I need to settle this for maximum Petra, which is away from this. I'm gonna have to think about that. Yeah, it's certainly interesting. I don't know what this island's doing. This is gonna be tough to hold the door. Do I give this to the scout? The scout already has a single promotion. So I think I just grab this with the uh, warrior. Send the scout over here. Grab the promotion next turn. Hope to find more land. Otherwise, we're it's going to be very, very awkward. Behold the wonders of the heaven. <laughs> what on earth? All right. It's the most isolated Pangea map I've ever seen in my entire life. I really don't know what to make of it. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. Uh, I would love to settle this way, but I guess it doesn't matter now. What's our best settle?
So this settle gives me the ability to maybe sneak a couple cities on whatever landmass this is. It's a 2-2. Two -two with another good expand. This I can just get any time. And will be really good for monopolies. Again, I, I really want that uh, Wales tile. I think it's just this. And maybe even after astrology, start thinking about heading up to shipbuilding. Pearl Harbor Settle is interesting too, but it doesn't give me that potential. Look at all these rivers converging here too. I think it's north. It should be the safest too in terms of barbs. All right, so monument by the builder. Get to this. Get our holy site. Get a slinger. Yeah, I could build the slinger. I'm going to need the slinger to protect the builder, actually. So I guess that's okay. That is a campus and a half for us. Mausoleum city ish. No rush to settle is right, which is so weird. It's like seriously so weird. And double scout is almost a waste. Maybe maybe the world continues on over here. Otherwise I'm just settling this and looking to uh I don't know. I don't even know what I'm looking to do. And there could still be a Colosseum in the middle of this island. That's quite good for us. I don't really want to settle uh, potential Outback Station spots, but quadruple pearls as a monopoly. Seems pretty great. I, You know what? I don't have any proper like tutorial type videos, uh, Tito. Um... I'd need to at some point. I would recommend Potato McWhiskey. Uh, he's one of the most popular for, for tutorials and, and YouTube content. And he's a friend. Good dude. I mean, sure, I drink. <laughs> but do you drink Tito's? That's the real question. Yeah, I think I have to settle this. Like, it's good for Outback Stations. We we, we kind of give up on those without it. Uh, but this starts to give me direction in terms of planning a Colosseum. Is it here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Colosseum a must have in pretty much any game? Yeah, pretty much. No, they they <laughs> they owe you royalties. I love it. So then this city actually wants to go underneath the volcano. I guess we could um I can't really get two cities in here, huh? I could settle this and try to squeeze in another Colosseum city. But I don't know if I'm doing that. Yeah, we could settle this. But then I have to move this over to get another city in here. 
Which is weird, because they don't seem like amazing cities. They'll have amazing districts. Go there. Yeah, we can buy our builder now. As a turnover. I should have bought it last turn. That's okay. If it's expanding to this next, I have time to get both of these culture bombs. All right, now I need a monument. Very interesting land. I've never seen a Pangea quite like this. TLDR culture bombs, you're about to watch. Just watch watch a second, Backbeat. Next turn. So we're, we get to culture bomb this uh, horse tile, okay? So what that means is we get all the tiles around it for free. Now, it has to be in your workable range of your city. So this is three tiles out, so we do get it. So if I culture bomb on the final ring, we don't get beyond that. Yeah, I definitely need a slinger. There's our sailing Eureka, and we don't have to go to Granary first because we have six total housing. But after Astrology, I think I'm going up to sailing. Still have governors. Not super married to using them. It's going to be hard to find a Golden Age without meeting other civs. Ah. Where are you? Ah, Cleo's up here. Okay. And she's she's very near this. Why a monument? Monuments are the default first thing you want to build in a new city. Um, monuments give you culture. Culture is incredibly important. Maybe the most valuable early resource you'll get. Um, it expands your city's borders. See how this says 37 turns until border growth? That's driven by culture. So going for the monument allows you to grow... Uh, your city in terms of borders and workable tiles and places to put districts. It also drives your culture tree, uh, which is incredibly important, like getting to bigger governments, getting to policies, getting to things like that. So it's it's the default in almost any. The first thing you want to do is lock in districts where you can because district cost scales throughout the game. Um, and then the second thing you want to do is build a monument. Culture bombs can steal tiles, uh, but it depends on uh, whose it is. Some, not all culture bombs are created equal. Like some of them, some of them will steal hostile tiles or your neighbor's tiles. Uh, Javaramans, for example. But some do not. All right, so Cleo, um, I am going to send you a delegation. Yeah, you can't steal districts or wonders. And then I'm going to see if we can just sell you some horses for positive 
positiveness. I don't believe in astrology. Yeah, Cree traders will steal tiles, but not not hostile ones. I don't know that any of them. I don't know that there's a clear cut way of finding out Voltaire. I'm going to go next turn to foreign trade, put the barb card in. We scared away that barb already, which didn't give me my uh, slinger boost. But let's go to discipline. Keep God King in for our Pantheon. And then we go here for another culture bomb. We do have Holy Sites unlocked. So there's part of me that wants to just go ahead and place this plus seven Holy Site. But I don't have the money. And it's our next tile expand. So we finished the monument. We should get this fairly quickly. Super weird map, but I'm into it. I'm into it, especially compared to everything else we've done today. Oh, goodness. Bannerman, hey, thank you for the 25 months, my friend. Welcome on back. Yeah, let's get weird. Now I scuttle back to YouTube. Good luck with Australia, your flame and gala. Aussie <laughs> insult. Bannerman, you're wonderful. Thank you very much for the support. Thanks for the value for value. Thank you for the 25 months. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate that a lot. All right, there's a void invite. And bronze working is not super exciting, but the void invite is nice. And if this is open, uh, this is a pretty interesting, pretty interesting stuff going on. Heal up in there. Oh, Slinger coming is a little scary. Um, so I could buy and get this locked in right away. I think I need another. Man, I'd like a trader to Zanzibar, but I think I need to sneak another Slinger in. And I could take Void immediately for the four faith per turn. I just finished my monument. Oh, no. They need to finish theirs first. Okay, never mind. Do they? Do we have an obvious holy site for them? Not really. Maybe they don't need one. Maybe they'll go harbor first. So we'll take an attack here and then we'll have to retreat. Oh, you're going to you're going to pillage my stuff? I don't like that. can't survive it any other way though. If I attack here, we probably die. If I attack here, we probably die. So I think what we're doing, yeah, we're gonna keep the builder charge around uh, to clean up and then also to get this camp eventually. The thing I can do is move here, take an attack. Yeah, this is the best play actually. We'll move here. He'll either pillage or attack us. I'm hoping to get attacked uh, and then be able to move in the city center and shoot the slinger for the promotion. But if it pillages our, our horses, then obviously no dice. Persia in the game. All right, we're sort of back at this then. I 
mostly want to go this way and explore. It's looking like I might be able to backfill some cities down down yonder. So I'm going to go this way. Although there may be goodie huts down here. Yeah. Yeah, I think all this land is open. Finally, it just took all day to find it, but we found a fun seed. Can't move the builder. Next turn we grow to this. Alright, so we have a promo here. So we're going to do this, and this, and that. Take our archery boost. Oh man. So much Petra potential. Vessels large, mate. I don't think I'm harvesting this. Yeah, Cleo's up here. How do I do this? Just that and this. I'd like another builder to get this Eureka. Uh, I would like their harbor. I could go into galleys in a second from here. Um. What do I value more? The harbor? I, I'd love to get this. You know what? Maybe just I tech the campus. Seven turns. I already have two district slots. Like, get this plus eight campus going and then not worry about science as much as I am right now. Okay, there's Javaraman. So it's not a total free sim. That's Vilnius. Pol political philosophy is a nice boost to find. I'm hoping to be able to uh, embark and settle some cities that way. But I think going campus next will be quite good for us. Wow, another barb camp up here. So one, one downside of being this isolated is you really do run into barbs. I think going to Zanzibar is fine. Should be relatively safe. Let's fix that. All right, and then this holy site. Normally I like harvesting the resources. I'm not going to worry about the farm. We don't have all the housing that Australia might if we settled coastal. Um, if we did, I might value the harvest. But this seems good. I don't want to go up here. It's worse and it has the potential to uh, get even worse. So this just seems fine to me. It's 
Somebody's working on profits already. Is the warrior governor usually a quick first one to help with barbs? Uh, not for me, no. Uh, I generally don't go victor at all uh, in most games. Same continent, okay. Lucky to find the uh, second continent. Jay is friendly. <laughs> yeah, plus seven holy site. All right, plus seven holy site is great. Let me let me let me take that back. I need to get units up here because my cap can't get raised, but Sydney can. And that scout is going to find us pretty quick here, in all likelihood. Let's do this. Yeah, sucks. I can try to protect it. I thought that trade route was going to be pretty safe. I might be able to protect it. I'm going to keep the uh, builder yet again in case we get pillaged. I want to be able to repair. The wicked king pursued the love. Hermetic order and chocolate hills. It's nice for him. Yeah, 13 and 25. We are going to get 3 for the district. Um And if I can get this down too. No, it's not this just we're not going to have enough time for that. And that would only put us to 19. I basically need to clear this and this. And I don't see it all happening all at once. What can I do here to help? I could just grab a warrior and try to clear this with a warrior. Amani Suz does help. It means I'm giving up this uh, industry though. Industry potential. Triple, triple uh, whales here. If I sue's here, they for sure take the deer. Can I live with that? They take the deer and the cattle, probably. If my Petra goes here, it's the maximum Petra. So maybe I can make peace with that. Take the tiles, you can culture bomb them back. But we can't just culture bomb anything we want, right? We need we need pastures. So like, yeah, oh, that's true. This is a pasture. But if they take, oh, that's true. We can get both back. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. All right. I was going to go void and get our faith flowing. But uh, yeah, let's go Amani then. Yeah, there's double pasture there. That's kind of cute. So this will be some era score. That gets us to 15. If I can double district somehow, that'll get us to uh, 21. I still need four. That'll be both barb camps, which means I really do need to make this a warrior. Let me go ahead and take the raw gold for flexibility. Try to meet whoever Jay's at war with. Yeah. There he is. There he be. 
He's all the way up there. Okay. Okay. All right, we got to keep the barb card in. Fix this again. What's your route? Bring this scout up to potentially help with the uh, barbs. All right, maybe I can pull off a golden. Do you have another governor title? Um, four turns on that if we want to go void. I don't know that I can get both of these districts is really my problem. He know oh, he knows somebody else. Wait, you're warring with someone else? No, he's warring with Genghis. Do you know the someone else? You know two someone else's. Um, so let's take open borders. And we do have a promotion, so hopefully we can find these sieves. That that can certainly get us to our golden. Again, I'm going to take raw gold in terms of being able to buy something that could be Ariscor or help us with these barb camps. Honestly, getting another slinger next turn could be good. This is fine. We take both attacks and then can clear the camp. And I think I'm ready to commit to my camp here. Third slinger will give us a third archer for the Eureka. And we're just, we have so many barbs that I kind of have to commit to it. Wow, another Pearl Harbor down here. Very interesting. Yeah, we take that now. Uh, we're running the, the, the card, so we should be able to mitigate all of this by just fortifying. And then we're just trying to get maximum movement on our scout so that we can... Uh... Find these other sieves. We have eight turns to find it. Okay, there's our craftsmanship, Eureka. Okay, I probably don't need help now. And this should be safe-ish. Seven turns on the era, need nine era score. I don't think there's that much hermetic potential, but we could look at it. Writing is easy. It's a five turn campus. Oh my God, that gets us there just in time. If you don't promote the scout, do you lose out on XP? Yes, you do.
All right, so I wanted the science to make sure that we could power through to this. A couple galleys will make sense in a second, although I still have barb issues, so I don't really want to switch policies yet. Uh, maybe we buy, yeah, we could maybe buy a galley for the golden, but we're going to get to 22 here, 23, and then we find another sieve for, for, uh, to get to 25. Or 20, 22 for the district, 24 to clear the camp, and then we find somebody to, to get to 25. Water, water. Or we find a wonder. That works too. And two for the Sioux. Actually, we're good. I don't even need to clear this. Do I? Cool. I could save the uh, campus, potentially. All right, so there's the Sioux. They did indeed grab those tiles that I thought they would. Holy Petra. Harald. All right. So now we clear the camp and save the campus. Yeah, Pantheon's going to push us over as well. So let's just make sure we save this campus. Which means what? What do I want to sneak in here? Maybe a shrine? Okay. What do we have for a pantheon? What do we want? Earth Goddess is not bad. It's very odd as Australia, but we have a particularly high appeal. Um, high appeal game. Craftsman. If I'm settling this, Craftsman gets worse. Plantations makes a lot of sense. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not that many. Seven, eight over here. Pastures makes even less sense, although it does give us value now. What's the plan for the game still Diplo? I'm not sure. I could go Divine Spark and secure our um, secure our religion with extra profit points. Get a library fairly soon for for to for early rider and go for a um go for Oracle as White Nerdy was saying early. Earth Goddess is like a some faith per turn. It's just it just doesn't feel the same as, as good as it used to. Let's, uh, oh, I'm super long on this video. So let's make this decision offline. YouTubers, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then. And when we come back, we'll have a Pantheon choice.